hello, 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 my wonderful YouTubers out there in YouTube land. It's the Lady Sislin, and yes, I'm back again with another video, a very informative one. Um, before I start to tell you all about this, don't forget to like, people. Don't forget to hit that subscription button. It don't cost you or I a thing. Hit the notification bell. Please comment, good or bad. It is welcome on this channel. We have a lot of love to give. If you don't get it from me, you're definitely going to get it from my subscribers. So, as you can tell by my title, it's about lips today. Yes. Now, it's about lips. Well, I'm not talking about your lips. I'm, I'm referring to my lips. Now, if you go back to my first set of videos, you will notice that I'm very upset, obsessed excuse me, with pink lips. I am very obsessed. Reason is I just figure like, you know, as a woman, my lips should really be light. That's just how I see it. Now, I am going to share with you what I have been doing to lighten my lips you know, the extra step that I have been taking to keep my lips lighter and get my lips to where I want it to be. Now, I do understand that there are quite a few of us out there um, who, as much as we are female, what happened is we are born with very high melanin in our lips. Like you, I've seen it in very, very light skin folks, and I've seen it in very, very dark skin folks that most of, not the majority, but there's a handful who their lips are very, very dark. Uh, it's just that they have a lot of mel melanin in their lips. Um, that melanin in your lips is not something that you can get rid of. So the only thing that I would say with lips like those, they're going to have to just go to, um, a tattoo parlor or people who are professionals in that field that can actually change your lip color with, you know, um, tinted, you know, with whatever they use. I don't know what they use. I can't tell you, but I have seen it done. Yes. On YouTube. Um, there's a very popular person on YouTube. He's into skin lightening and she had her lip tinted because no matter what she uses, her lips would not get lighter. And she was fishing for that. So, if that's the reason why you came on this channel, you can go ahead and stay and watch until the end. Um, I mean, what I'm going to say might exfoliate your lip, but it's not going to get it in the lighter. Now, as you know, I used to do the IV and the IV to me, my lips were getting lighter. Well, you know, a little bit of pinkish, which I'm obsessed with pink lips. And um, I stopped using the IV because, you know, I wasn't really getting anywhere with it. Then I started using, you know, over-the-counter topical, topical meaning creams and lotions and serums, you know, stuff into that nature. And I noticed that my lip would get dark, a little darker. Uh, it necessarily wasn't getting that lighter. So what I do, I make sure I do what I'm going to share with you. This is what I do regimenly. It's a regimen for me to keep my lips, to exfoliate my lips, and to make sure my lips is getting where it needs to be as my skin get lighter and lighter. So, here it is. I am not going to have you wait too long. Now, I have all this stuff here, but I'm using my phone. I'm not going to keep reaching back and forth. So, what I do, I have a table close to me, and I will just reach up, reach a product up, and I will let you see what it is that I am doing. So, first thing first, I have, I'm going to tell you what I have. I have peroxide. I have baking soda. And I have vitamin C powder. Vitamin C powder. I don't know if you can see it. I have a brand new phone here. And I... Anyway, but this is vitamin C powder. I also have rose water and glycerine. And of course, I have my washcloth. And this is my little 
container I'm going to be mixing everything in. Those are the things that I use it and I use it every three to four days. Like I, within a week, I would use it like twice. I don't overdo it. Um, I just don't overdo it with my lips with things because this is an exfoliation. Um, and you know, we tend to lick our lips all the time with our tongue and we tend to, you know, rub our lips. We eat a lot. We smack, you know, when you eat something and you lick your lips, if you drink something and you clean your lips off, um, that's kind of like an exfoliation because you already know your saliva is an acid. There's a lot of acid in there. A lot of acid. But at least your, your lips can withstand that type of acid because uh, it's coming from our body. So it's all natural. Now, the first thing I am going to do is before... Oh, I forgot one ingredient. I have my um, soap. This is my soap that I use. Now, mind you, I don't use this soap every day. I don't use this soap every day. Whatever soap I get my hands on is good enough for me. So, for instance, I may have this soap right now, but maybe next week I won't have this soap. So, whatever the soap is, I am not partial to soap. To me, soap is soap. I just use it. You know, I don't use regular soap because I'm bleaching my skin and I think that my skin could go with the little extra extra thing that you can do to get the process going where it needs to be so right now this soap is kojic acid soap and it's from brilliant skin i got this off ebay a long time ago but i'm the person that when i buy something i buy it in bulk that's just how i am reason is if i buy one and two and i run out two three days later i have to sit down and wait for the mail carrier to come two three weeks I'm not into that. So when I buy stuff, I buy it in excess. I'm just a very proactive person. Here I have my syringe. And what I am going to do is I'm going to take the peroxide. I put my syringe in there and I take up a little peroxide. A little mean less than, less than 0.1%. I squeeze it there I take the tip of my soap I wet it up in the peroxide I get it nice and wet and moist and I rub my lips there's still a little in here it's just a liquid I don't use water Okay, then I squirt a little peroxide, just a little, because this is just a one-time use. Then what I do is I take my vitamin C, just a little bit, put it in the liquid, I take a little baking soda, put it with the vitamin C and the peroxide. Here it is. Mix it up. It's going to get very frothy. I'm going to show you how frothy it is. You see, it's all frothy. It's, it's like, um, it's kind of have a, it's bubbly. It's like it's disappearing, but it's not. Then I dab it on my lips. I take my bar soap, clean the rest of it up and And remember, ladies and gentlemen, 
you can clean all of it up. Don't waste it. Clean all of it up. And then you do, you want to do over your lip too. Over the top of your lip and a little bit under on the side. You want to get those parts. Now, when you're going to do your middle lip, don't let it go inside. You close your mouth. And you rub. The soap is not going to be sudden, like when you're taking a shower and you know it, it's it forms a sud because the vitamin C and the baking soda prevents it from sud up, but you're still getting. See, I'm rubbing it in the sud. You're still getting the ingredients from here on your lips. And that's it. Now, if there's any left, I pat my lip. And there it is. I leave it on for five minutes. Usually what I do, I put this on when I'm, the day that happens to be my third or my fourth day that I'm putting it on. Because I only do it every three to four days. Um, I put it on. Then I would take my clothes off. I would go into the shower, soak my face up. But not wet it up. But so I will wet the soap, soap it up, soap up my face. But I don't touch my lips. Shower, you know, soak my whole body up. Take a full shower, rinse off, and then this is the last thing I rinse off. So that's I leave it on just long enough until I take my shower and come out of the shower. I rinse it off. If I want to, I would leave it a little bit longer and I won't rinse it off in the shower. But what I would do, I would get out the shower, dry off, and then it kind of feel like it's getting um, caked up on your lips. Like it started drying up. Whenever it starts drying up, if you, are, if you don't want to do it, taking a shower and it starts to dry up, then that's the time that tells you it's time for it to come off. But... I am going to warn you, do not scrub your lips. Don't take anything and scrub your lips. Don't take any washcloth, nothing at all. Do not scrub your lips. If this is something that you think you want to try, warning. Do not scrub your lips. Whatever is going on with the products you put on, which I put on, that's it. It does its own thing. I do not given an extra scrub with anything, not even my fingers. The reason is you do not want to irritate your lips, ladies and gentlemen, because these are some powerful things on there. And if you start rubbing, you literally take away the top layer of your skin. You may not see it immediately, but you will see it later on. And then that's what's going to darken your lips up. Your lips is going to get very dark because right there, it's like you get an abrasion. And when you get an abrasion, your skin has to heal. And with your skin having to be healed, it's going to get darker. Because it has to move fast to build back that layer of skin that you just rubbed off. So do not, I know we all want pink lips, but do not rub your lips. Especially when you have what I just put on my lip. Now I am not sitting in front of my shower or my, a faucet. So what I'm going to do... I am going to spray rose water and glycerine on my washcloth. And I am going to clean my lips off. Gently. Gently. I'm going to take the other section. Saturate it and then I'm cleaning it off. It's all off because I know I, can t I can't taste it. And then I clean the outside. This area you can scrub, but you do not scrub your lips. You can scrub down here, the sides. I'm going to take the other end just to make sure this is all off because it is a very, very exfoliating and you want it all off. Okay. It's gone. Now I take the middle and I dab. And there you have it, folks. Pink lips. Nice, huh?
<laughs> okay, so that is how I am going extra step to help my lips get pinker. So yes, I'm bleaching my skin. I, yes, I am proud of it. But I want my lips to look like, I wanted to match this body of mine. So I am going the extra mile to make my lips nice and pink where I don't even have to wear lipstick. I don't wear lipstick. I did mention all the time, but the last video, which was last week, I did mention that I there will come a day you will see me fully made up and I will have lipstick on. But for right now, this lady here don't need it. I put my natural face out there and it's all good. Yes, I know that my complexion is enhanced by me bleaching my skin. It's not a problem to you. It is not a problem to me. It is what I am doing to uplift myself even more because I'm already uplifted, but I'm, I'm, I'm uplifting myself even more because whenever you try to accomplish something and your accomplishment is coming, it's evolving. You can see it. It's a wonderful feeling. So um, folks out there who want to come at me, for whatever reason you want to come at me with insults or um, you know, bad remarks, Whatever it is that's not welcoming. I am going to say this to you. Don't come at me. You don't have to. You can because I, I, shit bounces off of me. Stuff bounces off of me. I am at the age where I'm as wise as the old woman who, who I thought was wise. I'm getting there. So when you come with your bad, whatever it is, it's bouncing off. It's not going anywhere. As a matter of fact, I actually appreciate it on this channel. I have nothing but love for you people. Nothing but love. You know, there's a lot of, this is, the world is a sea. And the one thing I noticed with my people is that we do not realize up to today that there's so many fish in the sea once we're out there with a boat and a net and the experience to catch fish. There is more than enough for everybody. Like you can be over there doing it. You can be over there. You ain't got to go underwater and cut somebody's nets because you don't want to pull fish in. You can get just as much fish as that person over there. And maybe even more, depending on the spot that you are in. So my people, I'm going to say this to you. Don't go around trying to get at people because you think that they're going to stop something. I am not selling anything on this channel. And anything I put in front of this video i'm not getting paid for it i'm putting what i am using you all can use it it is your freedom that's what you want to do i am not telling you what to do i am showing you what i am doing now i'm not selling anything but if i ever have to sell something it's not something that's somebody going to put on their whole body oh no if you have something because you all human beings are not created equal I will never put out anything that you have to put on your skin from head to toe. The reason is, even myself, I'm sitting right here. I don't know when this thing is going to backfire on me. My name will never, ever go on a product that's going to bleach your whole entire body. No, I am not selling that. I will tell you what I'm using, but I'm not going to sell you something. I'm not selling anybody anything. I don't want to be responsible for somebody who puts something on their skin and their skin turns negative instead of positive. I would not be the creator of that. Yes, I'm on this YouTube channel. You probably wonder why is she on here? You know why I'm on here? I like being on here. Um, I like that video trail that I'm making. It feels good on the inside. So that's why you're seeing it on the outside. It feels good to me. I'm liking how I'm looking on video and I like myself. I like to see myself. I like to hear myself. I just like it. If I was 30 years younger, I'd probably be a journalist. You know, go to college and be a journalist. Because yes, I do like seeing me on video and you're a public, the public is watching me. 
I like it. It gives me a high, a nice high. As I say, something different. Something very, very different. So don't come at me. And if you come at me, we still have a lot of love for you here on this channel. So keep it coming. You will never get any hate remarks. Um, you will never get any hate reply. But you're going to get a reality check. You best believe it. Okay? Now, as I said, my people, because you are my people, this is what I do to keep my lips pink. Mm, I'm spreading it out. I can't do that pouty stuff people do. Um, but this is what I do to keep my lips nice and pink and getting lighter. And I didn't forget to say this, but whatever you are using on your skin after you exfoliate your lips, instead of just putting that on, take a break from it at least for 24 hours and put some Vaseline or some glycerin or some coconut oil on your lips. You know, don't put your bleaching stuff on there. Give yourself a whole day because you just exfoliate your lip and you don't want all that stuff on there because, you know, bleaching is also an exfoliator. Just so you know, it does, you know, take away the top layer of your skin. So what you want is you don't want to add your bleaching cream right after. I don't, I don't. What I do, I put Vaseline. Well, I just clean my lips off. Instead of using water, I use rose water and glycerine. So the glycerine in this is like an emollient to my lips. Because my lips right now feel nice and soft. You don't need to add your bleaching cream. Like tomorrow morning, when I take a shower, I will add my bleach, my regular, go about my regular business, add my regular, regular lightning cream on, which is a mixed cream I'm using. Like if you watched the other video, the last video I posted. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I am still on that mixed cream and it's doing wonders. It ain't messing this lovely skin of mine up as yet. Now, <clears throat> This channel is about to change, but not change in a bad way. It's going to change in a good way where I will be profiling and coming at you and telling you what it is that I have been using to get the collagen in my skin. Just so you see today, I tell you how I keep my lips nice and light and keep it getting lighter with a little help of the peroxide, baking soda, and vitamin C powder. So the next time you see me, I'm going to tell you everything good what i ingest what i eat you know there's different different things that you have to do to make your skin nice and vibrant okay i'm using stuff to keep the wrinkles away also bleaching cream don't keep wrinkles away so there's a lot of things that you have to do to maintain and help your skin to evolve into something great when you are putting putting something that is that can break your skin down and thin your skin out so Stay tuned for my next hit. We don't know what it is. Keep following. Keep liking. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you when I see you. Have a nice life.